Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about lag on Call of Duty Warzone 2. If, for example, you're playing Warzone 2 like this, you've got a high field of view, um, but you're experiencing a lot of lag, one thing that is supposedly great for reducing the lag is reducing your field of view. So hit options, scroll down to quick settings, go to graphics, go all the way down here and change your field of view from 120 all the way down to the standard on console um, to about 80. Now this is really the general default setting for, for console Warzone 2. And it makes the screen a bit narrower, but because this is the default setting, uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox, they can handle it a tiny bit better. So if you are struggling with lag, a lower field of view might put less pressure on the game and you might just be able to uh, play a bit more fluider with no lag. There's the second thing you wanna do is basically go to options again, uh, quick settings, go down to graphics and turn off on-demand texture streaming as we said before because it reduces the amount of data that the game is downloading um, again it might not look as pretty but you, you barely notice a difference as you can see here but it just means that there's again less pressure on the internet and the game as we said before can focus on just not lagging now another cool thing you can do again in the options section and then another thing you can potentially do which is rumored to help for some reason is turn off world motion blur and weapon motion blur. Now I can definitely see having motion blur for the world can make it a bit tricky, make it a bit laggy, and it, may, it can make it seem like it's lagging even though it might not be. The same for the weapon. Now hopefully, um, if this is turned off, um, for me I'm not lagging at the moment so I don't need to turn it off, but if these things are turned off, it can just give it like a smoother experience when it comes to the game. And having a smoother experience will just kind of reduce the effect of lag. Um, and if you've got any other problems down below, let me know and hopefully I'll try and help them and help you solve them. So thank you for watching today's video. Take care and subscribe down below.